from the Miami Valley Clean News Station. This is News Hitter 7 at 6 o'clock with Jim Baldridge, Deborah Countess, AccuWeather with Dave Freeman, and the Sports with Mike Hartsock. And now, News Hitter 7. Good evening and welcome to News Center 7. I'm Deborah Countess. I'm Jim Baldridge. And the top of the news tonight has the state health department made a laughing matter out of a serious subject. The subject is condoms and how to inform teenagers about safe sex using condoms. News Center 7's Jim Blue has the story, Jim. Well, Jim, the giggles and the outrage all began after Governor Celeste issued this official designation of Condom Week starting Valentine's Day. The organizers suggest activities such as a water-filled condom toss contest or playing pin the condom on the person. Just like a condom sticking out in front of my face isn't going to do a thing for me. 2200. All three no, hours five, of seven, Mike Sento's talk show this morning on WHIO AM were devoted to the condom issue. Many who called opposed the idea of condom week activities. No, it is not going to do a bit of good because these kids have made up their mind. Sex is fun. The organizers had hoped to encourage condom use to prevent AIDS and other diseases. Things have changed quite a bit from the days when you had to buy condoms from behind the prescription drug counter. But even so, many people are uncomfortable with the idea of toss the condom or pin the condom on the person. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Health Commissioner Morton Nelson found the condom week activities laughable. Even though he supports condom use, he doesn't plan on following the state health department recommendations. <laughs> no, I, I don't intend to uh, recommend that. Can we talk to you about condoms? Condom use can still provoke giggles among teens, but many we talked to were well informed. We got a lifestyle. Lifestyle. Well, it's like, I don't want no diseases counteracted. I don't want no kids, and I'm not ready for kids, so until I'm ready for kids, these are what I use. Well, the Condom Week organizers may have provoked a huge negative reaction, but you have to admit, they have got people talking. Three days' worth of it so far. <laughs> yeah, at least, and more to come, <laughs> and I'm more sure. To come. <laughs> and on the radio, at the office, at the plant, a lot of people are talking about the condom controversy today. One of them was State Senator David Hobson. Hobson was speaking to a business group in the Springfield area. He says the health department's idea of contests is a great way to attract attention to the issue, but maybe it isn't the most tactful way. No, I, I understand, and I think there's, there's humor there, too. Uh, but I think we need to look beyond the humor at the very, very serious health problem that exists all over this state. Hobson says gonorrhea and syphilis are up dramatically in Ohio, and next year the legislature plans to spend $100 million fighting AIDS.